This is the video review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Ejector. Um, as you can see, he's a little toaster. Um, he's got slices for four slices of bread. So, a fairly nice toaster. Um, and you can see the panel lines already comes apart on the sides. Um, but Eagle Toaster has got the cord, is attached by a little stiff nylon string, so it's bendable. It's not posable, it's just a string. I mean, you can kind of get some poses with it because it's stiff, but it's, there's no metal inside it or anything. It's just a nylon string with a little three-pronged plug on the back of it. Um, and overall, a neat little toaster design. Um, the only real problem with it is it's very hollow here if you look at it from the back. Um, very empty. You can tell it's a transformer this, from this direction. Uh, but not so much from the other sides, um, aside from the panel lines. But neat little silver toaster. Transformation is not too involved. You just want to pull his what are going to become his legs down like this and then flip his little feet down like that and then turn them around like this kind of give him the little satyr type feet and then we're going to take this whole back panel and just pull this off or not off but down um, that's going to give you room to pop these pieces up then you want to pop his face up Bring these panels around to the side and down around. Then you can go ahead and take his back panel and plug that back up in. And then you want to flip this arm down. And this arm down. If you just want him to have normal arms, you could do that. Um, then you open up this panel and you flip out his second set of arms here. And there you have ejector in robot mode. Again, the tail you can move to the side to side. Um, his arms are on hinge, on a swivel hinge, and then a ball joint at the elbow. So these lower arms have a fair bit of movement, and his claws can move. Um, the outer arms just hinge; they just hinge down. And you can fold them up if, again, if you want them to have kind of normally arms, you can fold them up and just have them like this. So he can be two-armed or four-armed or three-armed if you want, depending on how you want to do it. Um, and then his legs are on swivels here, and swivels here. I mean, kind of swivel them this way if you want, but there's really no point to that. Um, his head, if you want, you can lift it up and open his mouth really wide, or you can slide it down and kind of close it. That's about as far down as you can get it, so it doesn't close completely. Um, but if you want to have him have a real wide open mouth, you can... Um, he's, he's a pretty cool little guy. You have to kind of fiddle with him to get him to stand just because of how tiny his feet are. But, um, but there you have him. Uh, a very neat little scout. Um, I definitely recommend picking him up. He's just quirky and a neat design and got a lot of personality. Um, but there you have it. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Ejector.